what's up guys and welcome back to everything gaming uh, and on today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can win the Porsche Carrera GT in this week's Forzathon event uh, but before we start I just want to apologize for not releasing any videos in the past couple of weeks it's been completely hectic and chaotic in my personal life and with work anyway let's get stuck in on the first challenge here which just wants you to complete an event to win 25,000 credits so very very easy there uh, the second challenge here just want you to complete 10 pass skills to win three wheel spins which is another very easy one in the scheme of things uh, the third challenge here just wants you to complete a race in an Aston Martin to earn 35,000 XP so again a very quick and easy one and the final one wants you to win a championship in a Porsche to win the Porsche Carrera GT so these challenges can be done very very quickly I mean in way under 10 minutes so what I'm going to show you how to do is complete the uh, first and the third challenge here so to complete an event and to complete a race in an Aston Martin obviously a race is an event so we might as well get these two out of the way uh, so obviously the first challenge can be done during the championship with a Porsche but anyway I just want to get the Aston Martin one done so what you want to do is select an Aston Martin now I wouldn't recommend the Vulcan in rear wheel drive because it's an absolutely mad car uh, very hard to control so I opted for my DB11 uh, in the end but you can pick whichever one as long as it's an Aston Martin um, I went to my highway circuit as I know all of you guys will know that I always pick that one because it's a very short and easy race. Uh, one lap, set it just to Aston Martins because why not? Um, and all you have to do is complete it. So you don't have to win the race, doesn't matter where you finish, whether it's first or third or whatever. It's, you know, however you race it, you'll get the achievement as long as you cross that finish line. Now, the other good thing about doing this race as well uh, is it helps you towards getting some of the pass skills for the second challenge and the second achievement. You'll get about five or six, maybe, depending on where you start, as long as you're not at the front of the grid. Um, so that will help you on your way to getting the second achievement. But anyway, as you can see, when you complete that race in an Aston Martin, you will get the first and the third challenge unlocked. Um, so very, very quick and very, very easy. Now I'm going to show you how you can obviously complete the rest so the second challenge which wants you to get 10 pass skills to get three wheel spins and the final one which wants you to win a championship in a Porsche to win the Porsche Carrera GT. So what you're going to want to do first of all is select a Porsche that you want to complete the championship in. Now I always pick my 918 Spider, but you can go with whichever one you want. Just make sure you are confident that you will win with it because that is the key here. You must win the championship. Um, Obviously, it started back at my highway circuit as per usual. Uh, selected just three races. They're the minimum you're allowed in a championship, uh, but three fairly quick ones. Obviously, starting with one lap on the highway circuit in my Porsche 918 Spider. Now, obviously, what what you what will happen uh, unless you've done races beforehand in a car and got pass skills is you should unlock the pass skill achievement and win three wheel spins uh, on the first race here at the championship if you've done it the way I have in basically completing uh, a race in an Aston Martin prior to this but it doesn't matter if you haven't obviously you've got three races in this championship that's more than enough time to get 10 pass skills um, it's very very easy and very very simple and I guarantee you you will do it within two to three races so it doesn't matter how you do it uh, anyway like I said you want to win this championship in a Porsche to get the Carrera GT so make sure you come in first place in all the championship races I've skipped obviously the uh, second one because no need in showing it uh, but as you can see here I won all three got to the third one in first place 60 points that's winning three out of three and that's winning the championship so obviously you would have already unlocked the achievement for the pass skills upon the first race hopefully if not the second uh, and completing the championship here you would have won the Porsche Carrera GT uh, anyway guys a massive massive thank you for everyone for not leaving and just forgetting about this channel because I've been away for a little while um, I hope this video has helped you out and hope you enjoyed uh, I hope we're all stoked for the new Forza game that's due to be coming out soon as well um, and I will obviously be releasing updates on that too but a massive thank you for everyone's support and I hope this helped you out